Okay, welcome back to uh, our next uh, Corel help video. Uh, in this video, I had uh, someone ask about um, the toolbars, how to um, move them, and specifically from this one person, uh, how to um, get them back if you accidentally turn them off. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I've got my Corel Draw X3 open. Um, this pretty much holds true with every version of Corel Draw. To some point, obviously, some of the commands and, and the tools may be a little bit different, but uh, the way the bars work, uh, your toolbars, your command bars, uh, pretty much all the same. I'm going to go up here and click on a new page, and the reason I'm going to do that is it does highlight uh, my toolbars and it will make it easier for everybody to see. So, specifically, um, I had somebody that had their toolbar our toolbox here, this here, um, all these were gone. Uh, typically that will happen um, if you just accidentally right click and turn it off, which means you just need to right click and turn it back on. The key is you need to right click in the correct area. Uh, when we're affecting any of these, we can right click up here, we should see this menu. Um, the very top would say customize and then all of our command bars and toolbars would be shown here. And that one is called toolbox and my guess is that one's just turned off and without that it's pretty hard to do anything so we need to figure out how to turn it back on so you just need to go anywhere on where there would normally be um, a command bar which would be off of your document right click select which one you want to turn back on and it will pop right back up there if for some reason um, it got undocked and it was over here on your page which some people may want it there, some people may not. If if that's not where you want it and it happens to get off of there, um, you can just grab it by the um, header there and drag it back over here and then position it where you want it and just drop it right back there. That'll put it there. So that's how to move it back into place. Again, any of these things can be turned off and on if they're in your way or you don't like them and actually they're all fully customizable and we'll do a little bit of that in this video but not a lot here so let's say you didn't want to you want to maximize your screen you could turn off your menu bar um, turn it back on there so any one of these could be can be moved anytime you want to move something you can grab it by the double separator it's usually at the top of the menu bar or at the left hand side and you could move it and say you want that over here instead or you could move it beside this one which gives you a little bit more room to do that too um, I'm going to put it back here so I don't get confused so that's where it normally is um, I think I've actually got this configured slightly different than uh, maybe the default but uh, so that's how you can move them, turn them off, turn them back on. Uh, remember, just right click, select which ones you want to have on, and do it that way. So hopefully that'll get this person's toolbar, toolbox back open, so they can actually use Corel Draw and have all their tools available. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to customize um, one of these, and I'm going to customize this one right here, which is the um, standard toolbar. Um, it's the one that has the shortcut here for new, open, save, print, all the way across here. Now what I'm going to add to that is I save a lot of PDF files. And so normally if I save a PDF file I have to go up here to file and come down here to publish PDF which is not highlighted because I don't have anything on my document yet. But I do have to come down here um, before it would export. So that's a few extra mouse clicks and I'm just going to add a button right here beside my pay, um, save button that will allow me to publish PDF. So to do that we're going to go up here to tools and come down here to customization and then I will click on commands because the save PDF is a command. So what we do is we come down through here and we're going to find the publish to PDF and it's under the file command as you can see this is all your all your menus that are across the top of your page and we know that it's under the file command here so it's publish PDF now we can just click and hold bring that up here and position it where we want and I want it right beside the save button and I'll drop it right there as you can say see now that everything's moved over and I have the publish PDF button there and I'll show you that that actually works here in a second and the other thing I'm going to customize is this Corel online is not something I use on a regular basis 
Um, this does not stop it from working, it just takes it off of our of our standard toolbar. So I'm just bringing it out here until it turns to an X and I'll drop it. As you can see it's no longer on that list, it's no longer taking up space. So that's how we can add a command or we can actually remove them off of there if you don't want them. And you can add any command off of any one of these menus by doing doing that way. So I'm going to click OK and everything will be uh, saved that way. Now we're just going to put a simple oval one here. Now that we have something here we can now save and print because there's actually something there. But to show you that PDF now if I just click on that that instantly comes up with my published PDF um, dialog box versus going up here to file and finding it down on this longer list which does exactly the same thing but I can just do it with one click of the mouse button. So that's how you can um, customize your toolbars. Um, you can move the whole toolbars around. We showed you how to do that. You can turn them off and on and you can add commands to your toolbars and you can completely customize them. Um, one last thing I do want to show you that might be handy for some people. Um, let's go back up here and let's customize. There's another way you can customize. We've got this uh, standard toolbar here and I'm going to right click on it and standard toolbar since I right clicked on the standard toolbar that'll be an option and I can add things or change things right here and one thing I did want to show you was um, this could be handy for uh, somebody that um, has a hard time seeing um, some of the toolbars because the icons are really small so we could change this from small buttons to medium buttons and instantly you can see our buttons up across here now um, they're the same uh, they have the same icon on it's just a larger version of them so that might be handy and you can do that for your toolbars just makes everything a little bit easier to see again that was put it put your mouse over the uh, toolbar that you want to work on right click customize and this is called the standard toolbar and we're going back and we're going to change it to small and that's how you can adjust the size of those icons make it a little bit easier to see or you can make them smaller so you have uh, maximized your workspace. So hopefully that video answers some of the questions about the toolbars and hopefully we'll get a little bit more in, in detail in how you can create your own toolbars and put which commands you like to use in those toolbars. So hope that helps everybody out.